it is so shocking that uh, we are hearing this kind of a thing from a, a top APC chieftain. Now, he's complaining about uh, the Muslim Muslim tickets. This is this man is the Obasanjo in APC because he used to write Obasanjo used to write letter. I'm sure he's still waiting for he will waiting for some time. Obasanjo is waiting for some time before he will start to write his letter. But this man that is called a uh, Lukman, yes, his name is Lukman Salisu. I think he has resigned. Uh, a former national vice chairman, northwest of the ruling All Progressive Congress. Ah, he can, this guy can write letter. Forget it. He can write letter. He wrote. You know, he always he always talking about it. He is going on in APC, but finally he has resigned, and I'm surprised that this man is coming out to tell Nigerians about uh, all the things that uh, Tinubu has really done because he believes that Tinubu has disappointed a lot of them. You know, when people are complaining, those of you who are always complaining for uh, about the things happening in Nigeria and you are coming from a genuine place, please, I beg you, continue, don't stop. Because what you are saying is the right thing. The people you are complaining about, they know it, but they will not accept it. Just like El Shomole is telling us that, uh, oh, Tinubu met a lot of problems. Where? From where? They inherited a lot of problems. Now they are not calling PDP again. He inherited a lot of problems from a where from the same APC, but they never agreed to the fact that a uh, Buhari was not doing well. They said, "Oh, the people who did not lose, who did not win election, they were the ones who are who were complaining about a Tinubu's uh, Buhari's uh, government. Oh, because a Buhari had blocked all the loopholes and all of that. But they know that what Buhari was doing was the wrong thing." They didn't say nothing because they are benefiting. They were benefiting and they are still benefiting. They don't care whether the whole world will collapse in as much they themselves and their immediate family members and their cronies that they work together are doing fine. They don't care. Now Oshomalia is telling Nigerians that uh, Tinubu inherited a lot of problems from who? So they knew where that uh, Buari was a problem it was creating problem now this martali you is telling us about a muslim muslim ticket that uh, now is a basic signal that the disturbing signal in the old letter he wrote to tinumbu on monday in abuja accusing tinumbu of imposing another muslim muslim scenario so they know that uh, this muslim muslim is not thing. they were telling us that uh, the muslim muslim ticket is going to uh, be a good thing that we have tried a uh, muslim christian Christian, Muslim, and all of that. Now let us try Muslim, Muslim. Oh, Tinubu did that because of a uh, his comp. It's because of competency. Remy Tinubu, the Tinubu's wife, was talking about a uh, yes. Let us try Muslim, Muslim ticket. It's going to be a new thing. At least we can see it. Is he is he because of competence? They did it because to just to get votes. And he's there. He's there just to answer the name. He's not the president. I'm the president. It's always difficult for you to call the to put the high. After the S, instead of president, they say I'm the president. That is what he wants. So they will, he has, you know, they will just be singing rhetorics here and there. And we are going to do this. We are, they are just using Nigeria as a. They know that, of course, not that it's a difficult thing. Not it's not that it's a rocket science, but the, because they don't have the political, they have a different agenda from the agenda of agenda of the people. That is why they will continue to bring rhetorics. And now they will now be begging you so that you don't think that, oh, they are so arrogant. And be, because there's a way, a, a, a limit that that's all these lies and fake promises, a limit to which it can go. Yes. So this uh, um, Lukman Sally is writing that uh, Tinubu is imposing another, what is it called, another Muslim, Muslim scenario on the party after winning the February 25th. Uh, also, the the stubbornness did not include the current exchange rates. This is the same man they said. Oh, he worked with a uh, Moby. He was an accountant. He he built Lagos. Which Lagos? Le built Lagos. My foot. Current exchange rates. He complained about a fair pound price and his choice of ministers among others. He said the endorsement of a uh, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Ganduju and Ajibola Bashiru, who are both Muslims as APC national chairman and secretary is a disturbing signal saying it is generating tension among party members like i told you everything you are complaining if you are complaining from the angle of truth continue with it because these people they know it but they will come and tell you try try to tell you what you are talking about is not the right thing 
when people were talking about Muslim Muslim tickets, they were like, oh, forget it. It does not matter. But now they know quite well that that was not the right thing to do. Now they are complaining. You know that Nigerians have already moved on. Nobody's even talking about it. That is their own party. But it's in as much you want to do something that will affect the Nigerian populace, they will talk. But because they are so adamant, they've rigged themselves into power and they are using the the, the power of a, of presidency or power of being in power or the ruling power, ruling party to suppress every other person. That's why the Nigerians are not even talking about, about the Muslim Muslim case. Now, this uh, Sally Yu is talking about it. Mm. You also question the criteria in the appointments of ministers saying with the development in Ubu's renewed hope agenda might not be implemented. Yeah. <laughs> he said he finds it very compelling to send this letter to him. We are disturbing signal which, if not averted, could produce bigger problem as an irreversible destroy electoral viability as a party. Mm. You can imagine. What were you expecting? It is now that you guys have to kick against Muslim Muslim tickets, but did it say no because of corruption when it affects Nigeria? God will judge all of you. What do you expect from a drug baron? Tinubu has killed APC and no Nigeria is in his right senses we vote for him. Nobody voted for them now in the first place. Oh. Because believe you me, we have a dumb people that even if he say he wants to contest again, they will go and vote for him. Some people still voted for him. Same people will not vote for him. Mm, that's it. Can anything good come out of evil? The man just wants to be president and crash into it and at the wrong time. I am sure if he knew the season will change after Buhari, Emilokon would have crashed in before Buhari. I think God wants to show him up for what he has done and helped to do in destroying Nigeria, there is always a PD. This is earlier period of everything. You voted because of tribal by Godfrey's and party. Tinubu is an old man. Even at the show of his grief, God will surely remove you by himself. Why complaining? Even his father Buhari did it. Okay? In less than three months, stop crying. This is just the beginning. You people agree it is his turn. So allow him to do his thing. Unless the president is assisted, he doesn't want to do, he doesn't know what to do. Somebody needs to assist him. Nigerians are seeing Genesis. When we get to the Malachi, no one else would ask you to come in mass for protest or revolution. Now, Napalava Bidatu, she be we shouted and demanded that this man should not lead this country. But you guys, out of your electoral malpractice, put him there. Tinubu is never and will never be. My president, according to um, Abiyodun Adeniro, yeah, the disturbing signals are there. The Muslim Muslim factor is also there. But who says Amakura is not a Muslim too? By mentioning names, you expose your bias against some party leaders. What do you expect from an inspired brain? Who says there's no alternative to suffering for Nigeria? He just talks anyhow. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.